Okay, hey guys, it's uh, Hair to Two again, um, and I'm here with a bit of Mod Nation Racers, and I'm going to give you an introduction to Mod Nation Racers in this video, uh, because I will be doing a, um, a, a series on Mod Nation Racers uh, coming up. Anyway, so this is the mod spot we're in, just to give you a clue, and um, we are, you know, it has lots of different items to the sides of the mod spot, as well as just driving around, so you have your top carts, which are, you know, most downloaded, most rated carts of the week. And then you have your all kind of like choices here when you want to race. So you have your career mode, split screen, which you can do with a player online as well. A quick race, well, as it sounds, you pretty much jump into a race and you can also go online uh, and you can choose your race there. Uh, so they're all quite good fun. Uh, to the sides, you have like notice boards, which are leading. And here I am doing drifting. And this is quite an important part to the game drifting and uh, if you drift long enough you get fire on your wheels and that's awesome it's amazing it's wicked um anyway yeah so uh let's see i'm just kind of mucking around this is my car at the moment i'm using my cart even and my character so uh yeah as you can see the mod spot is always online uh it can be offline but usually it's online you load it on and it will be online and as you can see there's lots of players anyway so you can choose from a selection of cards. So this has been sped up, of course. And so at the moment, I'm going through my carts, and then in a minute, I'll be going through, um, you know, downloaded carts. And that's when you'll see the first dragon. So in a minute, you'll see a dragon, you know. Um, so you get lots of different carts. So yeah, these are downloaded carts now, and I'm going through a lot of them just to try and show them off quickly. Anyway, um, there's quite often recreations, and I don't think I click on it, but I do click on a Bentley. Um, speed 8 um, so that's a recreation of a car and here's some character selection so they're quite fun as well so everything you can make you can even make tracks and that comes to my next point I will be making my next series on building a track in Mod Nation Racers and uh, hopefully if this goes well uh, maybe even later into the future um, I can do it so I build it part by part and given ideas by, the, my, uh, by you the viewer so uh, uh, we'll see how this goes and so, uh, as I said, this is just a quick introduction to Mod Nation Racers. Now, it is a fun game, and it came out quite a while ago. Um, it's all about creativity, and so everything here is about creativity. My car I created myself, the character I created myself, and as of course, you can download others. Um, so here, um, I'm go I've gone into Korea just to pick a race, and I have completed it all. So, um, I just picked the first race that I thought was a good way to demonstrate. Uh, what it's all about, as well as uh, being able to do it, because I haven't played this game in a while, but, you know, I did complete it, and so uh, I I do have the, the right to say, yes, you know, I'm not a bad modern ra mod nation racers, um, yeah, play up, uh, so anyway, uh, this is going to be me playing, um, I think it's the title cup for the second series, I think it is, or maybe it's the third series, I'm not sure. I can't quite see from the screen here because I'm watching on a small screen while I'm recording. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is how it goes. It's, uh, it's very like Mario Kart. Um, it's, it's very similar. It's, uh, it's very little difference, I find. But it's for the PS3, you have more creativity and the actions are just so much cooler than Mario Kart, especially the way you can create your own characters. Uh, and you can do spins, which is epic. And you get points for... Um, anyway, so let's see, I'll just give you a bit of the gameplay. Um, you get uh, points for doing uh, drifting, which I'm drifting. And uh, the meter to your right, which you see building up, is um, that gives you boost. Um, so that's very useful. Um, anyway, so the guy with the... Uh, he's got a little... Uh, well, he's gone now and just crashed. But so if you see a guy um, with the... Uh, his name above his thing in a kind of like a little speech box, that means he's the main character in this race, he's the guy you want to chase there, he just passed me. Anyway, I got shot down by some rockets, and, uh, well, I didn't avoid that by putting up my shield, because you can put a shield. Anyway, I just bashed the leader out of the way, but that was kind of like a bump. You can also do many other techniques when you get, trying to get rid of him, so you can sideswipe him, and that means you, uh, you use your cart to bash his car out of the way, and he will stop or slow down. Anyway, as you can see, I just zapped two people, um, and that's another effect being done. Um, so there's lots of challenges in the race themselves, so one of them, as I said, is to sideswipe the main character, which is him, which I just did. So that's one challenge completed. 
but sometimes you can only complete those challenges if you also win the race. And so you might sideswipe him, but you also have to win the race. Anyway, as you can look on this map itself, this track itself, it's very visually, uh, visually, visually good itself. Um, it's nice to look at. Um, I mean, jumping through flaming hoops that are carried by helicopters over other bits of the track. This is all what I think is a, a good track. Um, and uh, there's a lot of time being spent on these tracks. And what's good is that these tracks have all been built using the exact same tools that we get given in the game. Um, which is great because uh, that means we are able to recreate just as good maps at uh, tracks. And uh, you'll be able to see that in my series coming up. Um, I think it's quite a good track and, and it was quite a quick track to do so. Uh, usually you can spend days and hours on these tracks but uh, this one I didn't spend too long on. But, yeah, but it's a good introduction uh, to what will be coming up. So uh, yeah, this will be, I think it's going to be a five part series after this. Um, and it should be good. Anyway, in the lead is the guy who, um, kind of like the leader as I've been naming. He's got the name tag above him, he looks like a Spartan warrior which is epic, um, but anyway, he's in the lead and uh, I'm saving up my uh, uh, my kind of like attack, which is in the right, uh, trying to get three, but uh, in the end I don't need it or, uh, as he gets hit by one of the attacks that I manage to skip by taking a shortcut. Uh, yeah, so shortcuts are available in this game, which are brilliant, and so it's lots of fun. Anyway, I use the boost to boost through flaming ball of fire, Ring of Fire and I come first winning. Um, and then you get an idea of the unlocks you'll get. Um, but yes, I, I hope you will enjoy this series. It will be coming up. I'll be putting one out a week, uh, along with one out a week from uh, Rapid Detonation, my other series, this is for Battlefield. Uh, but this will be Modern Nation Races, and I might do some more after, uh, well, after uh, this series, if it goes well. Okay, so uh, thank you for uh, watching and listening. Please, Favourite, like and subscribe.